right, guys, welcome back. We have a brand new video for you guys here today, and I'm super excited about this one in particular for a couple of reasons. The first being, I'm introducing you guys to our brand new Russian-made hot tent with wood stove. This thing is an absolute beast of a tent. And the second reason is I've been very reluctant on giving a recommendation of a hot tent for anyone interested in getting into hot tent camping or people that are currently in the hot tent camping but are looking for a higher quality tent that's more versatile and durable. And I think I finally found it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna go through all of the technical specifications and details on why I think this is the best hot tent on the market. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to set this thing up from start to finish. So I hope you guys enjoy the video.
total time, about 15 minutes to set everything up, including the wood stove. About another five to 10 minutes before the tent is up to temperature. I can tell you guys right off the bat that I'm not even in the tent here and I can feel the heat just like radiating out of the door here. It must be very warm in that tent, is it, Vivian? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it heats up a lot faster than our canvas tent. That's for sure, yeah. I really like the insulated floor. Yeah. And just the ease of like sitting this up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much quicker than our canvas tent. Our canvas tent usually takes probably two hours by the time we pick a site, mm -hmm. put the poles together, set up the wood stove. Yeah. It's, it's a, quite comfortable in here. I like it. Yeah. Now, a lot of that has to do with the uh, double wall construction. So I'll actually show you what I'm talking about here. Do you mind grabbing the camera real quick? So I'll show you guys over here. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's very, very warm in here. <laughs> so we don't have our thermometer with us today, but the outside temperature is probably about negative 28 degrees Celsius. And I would say it's, it's, it's at least 20 degrees. And it feels like maybe even plus 30 degrees the higher up we go, mm -hmm. but it's very warm in here. So yeah, so this tent here has a double wall construction. I'll show you guys here. Um, this is actually a window in the back of the tent. It's really cool. So you can see this, this material here acts as a little vapor barrier between the outside of the tent. And I noticed that as somebody who, who's just learning the ins and outs of this tent, that when I expect something to be there, it's it's there. Like when I roll this up, I'm like, oh, there has to be a toggle back here. Or if I open up a zipper, I'm like, oh, there, there must be a Velcro patch or you know a pouch and sure enough there is. So whoever designed this tent knows exactly what they were doing and everything is purpose built and purpose driven. And there's so many little like hidden Easter eggs with this tent, it's so cool. So <laughs> just here on the back, there's a window and we have one, two, three, four, five, six windows on this tent here. And check this out. Just like that. Now the tent also comes with these plastic windows that zip in and the plastic windows are rated down to like negative 56 degrees Celsius. They'll maintain their pliability and they won't crack or break. I know we're gonna be using this in the summertime <laughs> as a base camp, that's for sure, absolutely. But the thing that I like about it is not only the mosquito netting, it's the fact that it's a double walled tent. So it's going to keep, it's going to keep the heat in and it's going to keep the hot air out. So we can make this tent nice and cool in the summertime. Mm. And, you know, waking up on a hot summer day with the sun on the corner of your tent, everyone knows what that's like. <laughs> um, so I guess with how efficient this double wall lining is, just from using this wood stove, that I imagine it will have the same effect for keeping the sun out. So... Really looking forward to that. Another cool thing about this tent here is this whole back section here is a door that swings out. So it's really, really cool. So I imagine we'll be out ice fishing in this tent early spring. And then I'm gonna open up this back part of the tent here. Check this out. So the tent also comes with uh, two aluminum poles, which you set up here in the front, which will keep this roof supported. And then it comes with the with the uh, vestibule that you zip in all the way around. And that's gonna be nice because you have the warm air from the inside of the tent, which is keeping this area nice and warm. And you could sit here and you could fish, ice fish in the lake all day long. I love the idea of the traditional canvas tent, you know, having that traditional feel to it. They're very fun to use. However, they're quite heavy. There's a lot of maintenance that's involved with those canvas tents. And as you know, our first couple of years that we owned our canvas tent, we completely ruined it because I didn't hang it properly. <laughs> I didn't dry it properly. And after a couple of seasons, I had mold on my tent and it was, and it was you know, pretty disgusting. <laughs> so with this tent here, it's such an easy setup that you can basically take this thing home, pop it open a little bit, kind of leave it in your living room, let it dry out and pop it back together again. And you're not worried about you know, mold, you're not worrying about all of the environmental damage that happens to the traditional canvas tent. So again, super cool, amazing. Uh, the more that I'm using this tent, the more that I'm learning about it. 
So I'm very impressed with it. So under the wood stove here, this stove is also made by Russian Bear Market. Now these come in three different sizes. They come in a small, medium, and a large. I chose a large for this tent because again, I wanna have the most amount of uh, potential heat that I can have given the temperatures up here uh, in the far north. But uh, the design of this wood stove is, is again, it's all the little components. It's, it's the attention to detail for me that really stands out. As someone who has been hot tenting now for more than a decade, um, I've used many wood stoves, I've used many tents over the years. And again, I can't stress enough that the design team for this tent paid attention to every little detail. There were things that I haven't seen in other tents before. For an example, this um, uh, stovepipe ring here has a metal built-in gasket on the inside, which is really cool. Most, they have this little, it's like an asbestos uh, material that sits around the stovepipe. And then over time, it starts to dry out and it flakes and turns into a dust. And I, and I never really liked that because the seal wouldn't last for very long. But this one here has a metal ring on the inside, which is nice because it will actually move with, with, the, with, the, um, with the tent. So if it is a windy day, for an example, you're not breaking that gasket in, in like the traditional gasket sense. You actually have like a metal ring that uh, seats into place. Little, little pieces of detail like that, that's, uh, that's a really interesting. Um, all of this stovepipe, there's five sections of stovepipe. When this is uh, disassembled, as you guys seen, everything fits inside of the wood stove here, which is really cool. Also on the outside, you notice when we set the wood stove up that there was a metal heat shield that was on the side. Now that's there for a couple of reasons. Um, if we were sleeping in this snow and if we had our sleeping cots on both sides and if it was a little bit too warm, you could put your heat shield on to minimize how much heat is radiating off the side of the stove. The second function is it protects the glass on the side. So if you're traveling and if you're worrying about, you know, things banging into the side of your glass, you can put that heat shield on to protect it. Now, if you did break your glass accidentally, again, attention to detail, on the back of this wood stove here, there were three screws on the back with a little, um, with a little uh, gasket that sits in between the uh, frame of the wood stove so you can actually take off this little binding clip on the back slot out your glass and you can actually replace this gasket on the inside and it also comes with two extra metal slide ins so if you accidentally broke your glass you can slide in a metal section on the inside um, as a temporary fix or if you're traveling and, and if you don't want to have the glass on the side because you're fearful that they may break you could just take out the glass and you could put the metal inserts in so those little pieces of detail it gives Gives a versatility to the uh, you know to the end user, which I think is super cool. If you notice on this thing here, like everything is welded with these big thick wells on the wood stove. I really like the, des the design of this front loading wood stove. This piece pops off, and the way that you control your intake flow is by using this little cap here that sits over the front, and you can adjust it. Um, and you can actually notice that when I use this thing, I can actually snuff the stove right down, which shows me that this is a really good airtight stove and it's going to be very efficient for uh, burning wood at night. So you can actually probably see now the coals are just dimming down on the inside as opposed to when I take it off. Really cool. On the bottom here, you have these four legs, which just screw into place. They come on their own uh, little carrying case and everything are these wing nuts with these bolts that are all welded onto the uh, wood stove. So everything just locks into place, really heavy duty, good quality. Everything feels like it's overbuilt and it feels like this thing is gonna last me for a long, long time. So again, you know, attention to detail is a big thing. I'm a proponent over um, uh, uh, function over fashion for most things. And uh, this wood stove and this tent is definitely um, definitely fitting that bill. Although I really like the look of it because I love camo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for the inside of the tent here. Like I say, we have one, two, three, four, five, six windows. Um, so if you are camping in the summertime, you can pop those windows in. You could put your bug screens up. You can have a nice airflow going through here. Um, this tent also doubles as a... As a um, as a, as a bath tent, actually. So you, if you check on their website, they have a bunch of attachments for their wood stove where you can li literally turn this thing into a sauna tent, which is, again, the, the, the versatility and the functionality of this tent really, really shows. So um, I'm quite impressed. And I'm really excited to bring this to you guys because we get a lot of questions on the channel about what tent I would recommend and what options. 
and what size wood stove. And a lot of the gear that we use is gear that people would use when they have experience with winter camping. You know, setting up the canvas tent in the traditional way using the wooden frame takes a little bit of skills and ability and knowledge you know how to do that if you're using the internal frame they're awkward there's a lot of weight you know to carry these things around it takes a few people to set it up um but with a tent like this here is literally pop the sides out pop the roof up assemble the wood stove and you're set up in 15 to 20 minutes so i think moving forward that if i was to recommend any hot tent to anyone no matter your experience level whether you're a beginner or you're an expert within within winter camping I think this tent here would fit your bill and everything in here is just so functional. Very, very impressed with it. So if you are interested in checking it out, all the links are in the description down below. Um, and I'm looking forward to using this this summer. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to getting my hands on a smaller tent as well. Now, these guys, they make tents right from uh, like a two-man, three-man tent all the way up to an eight-man dome tent, which we're in right now. And I think it'd be cool to get my hands on like a, maybe like a two man or a three man tent, something smaller. I can pack in my canoe. I can pack them back at the quad and we can uh, use that for the summertime. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit big for our summer adventures, but I think for winter adventures, fall, uh, this really, really fits the bill. Spring for ice fishing, this fits the bill. For the summer, we usually go smaller, lighter. Um, and they do have a, uh, a tent, at, I think it's like $4.99. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a small tent that's i think a two or three person tent also has a stovepipe ring and i assume that it would be the same build quality as uh as this setup here given given the um information that i read on online there so but other than that guys i do appreciate you coming back checking out this video um like i say the link for this tent is in the description down below um i'm not paid uh for this video here i'm just giving you guys my honest opinion on what i think uh, of, of this tent here and I think it's an excellent piece of kit cost wise is a big thing you guys are going to look at it and see that this tent here is roughly two thousand uh, dollars if you buy the wood stove with the insulated floor you're looking at about three thousand uh, dollars but keep in mind the cost of our canvas tent a, a 12 by 14 canvas tent you're looking at 1599 to 1600 dollars just for the canvas tent um, our wood stove is actually more expensive than this one here so by the time you buy your internal poles, which is an additional $700 to $1,000, depending upon the size of your tent, plus the cost of your canvas tent, plus your wood stove, you're up to $3,000 to $3,500 for the traditional canvas tent with the wood stove anyways. So for the same cost, you can get something that's smaller, lighter, more versatile, has a better bill of quality, probably has a longer life expectancy than what the canvas would, and just all of the accessories that you can get for that. So... Highly recommend it. Links are in the description. If you're not following us on Facebook, check us out there at Up North of 60. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out there at Dave's True Life. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, and select all to receive notifications for future videos. And other than that, we're going to sit back, relax, enjoy our evening in this brand new hot tent. We hope you guys have a great weekend and a safe week. Uh, you guys stay safe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.